Hello guys, thank you for joining us. We're back with another video on the Panasonic GH5. Now we had a few people who had questions regarding the vignetting on the Metabone Speed Booster XL. So today we'd just like to conduct a more in-depth vignette test and a zoom test as well. So before we begin, I want to mention that all these tests are done with the Nikon F-mount version of the Metabones and Sigma 18-35 combo. To start out here, we have the GH5 mounted on a tripod. And at the top you can see that we're filming in the Cinema 4K resolution. We're properly exposed and we're shooting down at the base ISO or native ISO of 200. Before we begin any tests, I want to hop into the menu system and disable the 5-axis stabilization. So let's switch over to the GH5 and let's take a look. So as you can see on the edges of the screen here, you begin to see a little bit of vignetting at 18 millimeters. Now when you begin to zoom in to 20 millimeters and up, that vignetting begins to disappear. Now zooming in to 24 millimeters and then through to 35 millimeters, that vignetting is virtually gone. Unlike the GH4, which has a 2.3 times crop factor when filming in 4K, the GH5 maintains a 2 times crop factor. This means the GH5 utilizes the entire sensor when filming in its various resolutions. With the crop factor, focal length, and speed booster factored in, the Sigma 18 to 35 millimeter focal range essentially becomes 23 to 44 millimeters. Next. I'd like to do some handheld tests with the 5-axis stabilization turned on just to see how this affects vignetting. So now that we're handheld, currently at 18 millimeters, you hardly notice any vignetting. The field of view does become slightly narrower when filming with the 5-axis stabilization turned on, and this does help to eliminate vignetting. Now when panning from side to side, the vignetting does become more apparent. And when you turn the 5 axis stabilization off, the vignetting becomes much worse. And now we'd like to address that zoom test. So, as you can see, zooming in and out with the lens, we are not experiencing that locking up or camera freezing issue that a lot of people with the Canon EF mount version of the Metabones and Sigma lens have been experiencing. Um, the reason for that, we believe, is unlike the Canon EF mount, which is primarily an all electronic connection, the Nikon F mount utilizes a mechanical linkage. In our case, this allows the Metabone Speed Booster and Sigma 18 to 35 to work with the GH5 without interfering with firmware and causing the camera to freeze. So, I guess to dive off that, we're going to jump into the menu here and we're going to show you that in the version display, we are currently still running the same version 1.0 software or firmware that was shipped with the GH5. Alright guys, we're happy to announce that if you own the Nikon F-mount version of the Metabone Speed Booster XL and the Sigma 18-35mm, um, it should work great on the Panasonic GH5. Now aside from the slight vignetting on the widest end 18mm, you can zoom in at 20mm to help reduce some of that or you can go into the menu system and turn on the 5-axis stabilization and that should help to minimize if not eliminate most of that vignetting. So we hope this video helps. If you guys have any questions or comments feel free to leave those below. We will be shooting more videos like this so if you'd like to stay up to date on the Panasonic GH5 and its cool features feel free to subscribe. This is Jose with One Orbit Studios. Thanks again guys and happy filming.